You're watching Vini TV, a wine program packed with broken English and passion for wine. And we are in Marbella at the third climate change and wine conference. And we are with the man who is behind this interesting conference, Pancho Campo. How are you? I'm tired, but I'm happy. <laughs> yeah. How would you sum up the conference for the people who weren't here today and yesterday? They made a mistake. <laughs> they should have been here. Uh, you, you know, uh, not very often you have the chance to listen to such amount of knowledge, uh, big names, but not, when I mean big is because what they have accomplished in their life and they're willing to share it with you. And on top of that, the sherry on top of the cake, uh, Kofi Annan, acknowledging the wine industry's effort to uh, fight climate change, to be more sustainable, inviting people to take action. You know, opportunities in life like this, they happen very, very, very rarely. And uh, if you don't take advantage of that, you know, you, you miss the opportunity. However, we are going to put everything online. Each conference uh, will be in the website as of Monday. Uh, people uh, will be able to follow what, what happened here. But it's not the same because one of the, one of the things that we emphasize a lot in this conference, you know, we, we wanted the speakers to answer questions. Uh, Nicolas Jolie, you can read his book, you can read his articles, but you cannot ask him questions when he's in the Loire. Here, that's the opportunity that people have to take advantage. Ask lots of questions. You know, and we had a trade show area with 104 exhibitors representing 160 wineries. And all these guys, you know, walking around, tasting wines. So, you know, you could, you could have the chance to, you know, share a glass of wine with guys like Claude Provignon, with Marquez de Grignon, with uh, Nicolas Jolie, with, you know, Mireille Torres, and ask your own personal questions and, and get to know these people. That's what you miss when you don't come to events like this. So what would you be your message to people in Scandinavia as wine consumers? How can they help and be a part of this? Uh, since you guys yet are not uh, big wine producers, uh, you are big consumers, you know, uh, you are, and the consumer has the power. Uh, the consumer has to realize that uh, the power before was in the terroir, in the appellation, has gone to the winery, to the winemaker, now it's shifting to the consumer. You as a consumer, what you do? You demand that the products that you're drinking are compatible with the, with the environment. That, you know, you stop buying those huge heavy bottles packaged on heavy uh, wooden cases that have a tremendous impact on the CO2 emissions. Also, if somebody has uh, green practices, somebody uh, has implemented sustainability at the winery, then you, you tend to, to buy more of those wines. That's the way the consumer can influence the whole chain. Excellent. I want to thank you, Pancho, for organizing this event. I think you have done a, a tremendous job by discussing these things that can be a bit scary even, but I think it's really important. And I want to thank you for organizing this event on behalf of Finland. Do you have any last message to people in Scandinavia? Well, I would love to see a lot of people uh, from Scandinavia in our next event, which is Wine Future Hong Kong. Uh, the website is online as of today www.winefuture.hk and uh, that is the business side that's the consumer that's the place where you uh, we're going to try to help people understand better distribution imports investment internet social media all those kind of things that you know could make the, the, this industry work better and of course uh, Scandinavia and in, in those areas is very important it's a very important market Okay, Vini TV will definitely be at the One Future. Thank you again and put it here. Thank you so much. Thanks to you. Cheers. Buddy.